How y'all doing? How y'all doing? How y'all doing? Hmm. Okay, so I'm not sure if anybody saw the one video that I posted called Setting the Scene. It said zero views, and I'm quite glad of that. Now, I was trying to work out a video suggestion that was made by someone, a friend of mine named Mr. Devereaux, because he suggested I make a video talking about how to get over, you know, like relationships. Ah, why can I not talk? How to get over relationships and whatnot. And I called myself trying to, you know, set a storyline. But it seems as though when I get on YouTube, I'm quite long-winded when I really shouldn't be. And I'm really not. Usually my answers are short, sweet, and straight to the point. But apparently my story dragged out for two videos. And after looking at the second video, I was bored watching my own damn self talk. So we're just going to go straight to my tips. And I'm going to try and pull... Well... A lot of people know that I don't keep my personal life on YouTube or any social networking on, on the net, period. I don't, I just don't put it there in no way, shape, or form. Maybe a Facebook status, you might be able to, to decipher it once or twice, but you'll never know. But I try and keep my personal life as private as I possibly can. And a lot of my friends know that because I only talk to them about things that are important. But I'm going to pull different pieces of my life and different pieces of my friend's life and discuss like different tips I guess we'll see how this goes just stay with me so I was asked to describe how to get over relationships now for those that have been in a relationship for maybe a year or so and it was nothing but problems after the first couple of months and you all tried to make it work so bad because you all you all thought that you are you were in love with each other and there was no one better for you than that other person. But you all but something ends up happening like maybe he sleeps with somebody else or she sleeps with somebody else or it's just you get dropped just period. I mean, in our relationships generally, this video may be very short. In our relationships, when you're trying to get over somebody. Now, if it's that kind of relationship that you got hurt in very badly, then and you're still stuck on this person, like, this person just dropped you out of their life, like, completely, as if, like, they dropped you like a bad habit, almost as if you didn't exist. It's going to take you a while to get over it, like, some months, because everybody, everybody doesn't bounce back as quick as others do. But something like that, if you were really committed to this relationship, and it just ended up you being dropped and around like a Christmas holiday or something, then, I guess that's a minute. I say if once you get through the grieving process, that's those couple of months, then after you start trying to move past it and your mind just keeps rotating back, if you've given no good reason to open that, you know what, first of all, before we make that line, I've always been taught that if you pick a scab, you're going to open an old wound. And I, will really ho I really hope that people don't pick their scabs and just let it heal naturally. And naturally it's taking that time that you need to get over it. Not constantly picking at it, picking at this problem, picking at this person to try and find out what... One moment, because my phone is acting stupid. Okay, but picking at it is not going to help you. Trying to find out this, that, and the other, trying to talk to this person and trying to get this person back, that's just opening the old wound and making it bigger. You need to let it heal on its own. I mean, if you're constantly stuck on this person, why don't you try thinking about all the hurt that you went through? And all the pain that this person might have put you through, whether it was male or female, I don't care. Whatever this person put you through. Try thinking about all the pain and all the hurt that you went through. Boil that down to its primal form. Keep that in the back of your mind. So when your mind reverts back to, well, I wonder if I could go back with this person. Or I wonder if this person is will take me back. Why don't you go back to reason the reason why you're not together now? Because you got hurt. And that's if this is the type of relationship where you got hurt. Now, for those of you that just ended the relationship on seemingly good terms, as in there was no big problem, it just wasn't working out, but you know, you still have really deep invested feelings for this person, 
I mean, it's not really no solution to that that can really just be like, do this, 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 and this, and you're good. No, that type of thing, I'm gonna say takes time because if you all ended well and there was no nothing big that caused you all to just break apart, I mean, what can you say other than it just wasn't meant to be? When your mind, your heart, your soul, and your emotions all equal out to one thing, meaning that you know that this just wasn't what was good for you right now, then you'll realize that it's time to move on. But until that point, you're gonna be stuck in that same circle. Everybody has been stuck in some type of circle where they just wanna go here, wanna go there, but can't because, what can I say? They were stuck in the past and like that song, Something in the Past, it just you have to let that something stay in the past if you want to move on. It's just not, it's not healthy. That's a condition. And there's not a 1-800 number to call for that, unfortunately. But that is indeed a condition, a serious one at that. If it's something in the past that keeps drawing you back, realize that it's something in the future that could meet, could mean so much more to you than that something in the past. Not to say that that something in the past was just so horrible, but you never know what the future holds. And if you keep living the past, how are you gonna move towards the future? If every day is a moment lived, relived in the past, think about that and you'll get it. But I mean, everything, all wounds heal, time heals all wounds, basically. So I mean, if it's somewhere you got hurt along the way, pick up the pain and pick up the pieces. Put it in a bag and sit it wherever you are the most when you think about these things. And when this comes to your mind, look over at it and realize this this is why you can't go on with that with that one person because of what happened and what I was left with in this bag. What it, it can't go on. I mean, everybody's gonna get stuck on that one person because I can admit I've been stuck on that one person, but life goes on. I mean, if you stay stuck back there, who's gonna get you to up there? I mean, if it's six o'clock, no, bad analogy. I'm sorry, bad, wrong one. I thought I was gonna be able to work that one out. No, but anyway, I mean, for Mr. Devereaux, if you going through something and that's the reason why you suggested me to make this video, let time heal it. Stop trying to open old wounds and stop thinking about what could have been if you and this person had stayed together. Realize that you and this person are no more an item. You may have tried to maintain some form of an associatism or a friendship, excuse me, association, but I'm going to stick with associatism. But realize that instead of going back and trying to reopen that wound, that it's a wound for a reason. Obviously, you felt some type of way, some type of pain towards the end of this period of time, this relationship. Realize that you have, realize first of all, that there's more fish in the sheep. The she, the she, the she, five, six, seven, eight. Realize that there's more fish in the sea, first of all. Realize that you have a life to live, not a life to live with somebody else. Of course, it's wonderful having somebody there in your corner that you can talk, be around, hold, hug, kiss, all of that. It's wonderful. But if you've gotten too used to that and can't remember how it was before this person, you clearly need to take some time off. And I'm not just directing this at you, I'm directing it at anybody that's inquiring about this. You need to take some time off from everything. Shut your phone off, shut your computer off. The only person you should talk to is maybe family. If you have to shut off close friends for a couple of days, shut off close friends. Everybody needs their personal time for themselves. I do, you do, and everybody else in the world does, regardless of if they want to admit it or not. Remember, you live your life for you. You were born in this world alone. You're going to go out of this world alone. If the if people just so, excuse me, you're supposed to go out of this world alone. But if you just so happen to have people in your corner that are with you at that time, feel like your life has been accomplished. If you have a set of friends that have just been there through thick, thin, fat, small, skinny, large, extra large, tall, whatever, appreciate that. Cherish that and realize that's all you needed in the first place. You don't need validation from anyone else. And I, I don't know if I hit any points or if I just rambled, but this video I'm actually gonna post. I hope this helps somebody out somewhere. If it didn't, maybe I'm just talking to be talking. 
and I probably do need some help with this video because I know I can't think of all situations by myself, so I will be needing co-stars.